Hello everyone. Today we will begin with the next module, that is the module two. Uh, in this we have two topics, that is FET and SCR. FET stands for Field Effect Transistors, and SCR is Silicon Control Rectifier. In FET, again there are two types that we are going to study. One is Junction Field Effect Transistor, uh, or JFET, and the other one is Metal Oxide Semiconductor Field Effect Transistor, that is the MOSFET. Okay. So first we will begin with the FET, that is Field Effect Transistor. So this field effect transistor, it is a three terminal device which uses electric field to control the current flowing through the device. So uh, we have al also studied another three terminal device that is a BJT. Uh, there, you know, it was the current that would control the current flowing through the device. It was the base current that was uh, controlling the current flowing through the device. Uh, you have FET has three terminals, source, drain and gate. So to contrast with BJT, BJT also has three terminals, but it was base emitter and collector. So in place of the base, you know, we have the gate in FET. In place of the collector, we have the drain in FET. And in place of the emitter, we have the source in FET. Okay. So these FETs, they are unipolar devices. Unipolar in the sense, uh, they operate only with one type of charge carrier. Unlike BJT, which are bipolar, their current flow is because of both the types of charge carriers, that is majority and minority charge carriers. In case of FET, it is only unipolar, that is only one type of charge carriers. The term field effect, it relates to the depletion region formed in the channel of an FET as a result of the voltage applied on one of its terminals. So whenever a voltage or a field is applied, because of that field, you know, uh, there is a depletion region which is formed in the channel of an FET. That's why we called it field effect transistor. So it is a voltage control device. That means the voltage between one of uh, between the two of the terminals, that is between the gate and the source, that controls the current through the device. Okay. So a major advantage of FET is its high input impedance, very high input impedance or very high input resistance. So these FETs, you know, they have non-linear characteristics. So they are not uh, widely used in amplifiers as we use BJTs, which are widely used in linear amplifiers. So these FETs are used only when we have requirement of very high input impedance. So they are also used in low voltage switching applications because their switching speed is very fast compared to BJTs. Uh, they are turned on and off very fast. That's why FETs are widely used in low voltage switching applications. So based on uh, how they are formed and the operation of uh, FET, you know, there are two main types of FETs. So one is uh, JFET that is junction field effect transistor. The other one is MOSFET, that is metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor. So we are going to study both of these one by one. First, we will look at the junction field effect transistor, that is JFET. So in this JFET, you know, there is a junction, there is a PN junction. Uh, that's why it's called a junction field effect transistor. So it is an FET uh, that operates with the reverse biased PN junction to control the current in a channel. So that junction, as I said, that junction it is there, that is a PN junction that is present in this FET and it is operated with the reverse biased PN junction. That PN junction is reverse biased in order to control the current flowing through the channel. Depending on the structure, the JFETs are classified into two types. One is N-channel JFET and the other one is P-channel JFET. So there is a channel in a JFET or uh, in a, a MOSFET or JFET, you know, there is a channel. Channel in the sense it is a path for, for the flow of charges. So that channel, if it is of N-type material, then it is called an N-channel JFET. If that channel is of P-type material, then it is called a P-channel JFET. So first we will see N-channel JFET. Okay. So we'll be having, you know, two important things here. One is the construction and operation. The other one is characteristics and parameters. Okay. So in construction of an operation, we will see the structure of uh, JFET and how it works, how it operates or how it works. Uh, in characteristics, we are going to see its behavior, uh, the behavior of the current and voltages and some of the parameters. So first coming to the construction and operation of an N-channel JFET, this is how it looks like the construction or the structure of a N-channel JFET. There is a channel, you know, the path for the flow of charges, which is of N-type material into which two P-type regions are diffused. The channel, you know, it is connected to two terminals. That is one is drain, other one is source. And the diffused P-type regions, they are connected to the gate. So actually, the path or the connection exists between both the P regions, 
okay the connection is there between both the p regions that is connected to the gate but for simplicity we'll show only one end connected to the gate but it, it has to be understood that the gate is connected to both the p, p type regions okay so there is a pn junction there is there are pn junctions that is produced you know that is created because of this p type region diffused into the n type region and you know this source is actually this is the source of electrons this uh, in case of n channel jfet the electrons are originating from the source and they are drained into this drain that's why the name source and drain so if electrons are moving from source to the drain the direction of the current is from drain to source so this current you know from drain to source that current is called the drain current and the voltage you know you have to apply from gate to source that is the gate to source voltage which controls the drain current so this is a symbol of a n channel jfet wherein the direction of the arrow mark is from gate into the device okay so this is a symbol of an n channel jfet so yeah this shows, shows the basic structure of an n channel jfet the wire lets are connected to each end of the n channel one is the drain and the other one is the source two p type regions are diffused into the n type to form a channel and both p type regions are connected to the gate but for simplicity we will show only one end connected to the gate so this is the operation of a n channel jfet so you have to always remember that a jfet gate to source voltage is always reverse passed i mean the pn junction is always reverse passed so for the pn junction to be reverse passed in case of an n channel jfet since the gate is of p type it has to be connected to negative uh, source is of n type it has to be connected to positive so that the pn junction is reverse passed so vgs is always reverse biased in case of an n channel jfet and vds is positive when vds is positive if this is positive and this is negative the current flows in this direction so this is the current id okay now because of this reverse biased pn junction there is a depletion region created in this channel so that depletion region you know it is a uh, wider in towards the drain side and it will be narrow towards the source side that is because the the gate and drain they, that is also reverse biased you can see gate is connected to negative drain is connected to positive so the gate drain junction you know this is also reverse biased because of that uh, you know uh, and that is more reverse biased that reverse bias is more compared to the reverse bias at the gate and source that's why the depletion region is larger or wider at the gate, drain side than at the source side now anyway because of that depletion region the width of the channel will decrease if the width of the channel will decrease the current id will also decrease so by changing the value of the voltage vgs you can change the width of the channel thereby uh, you can change the resistance if you change the width of the channel you know you can changing the resistance of the channel as you change the resistance of the resistance of the channel you are controlling the current flowing through the channel okay so that is the concept of operation of n channel jfet so the figure you know it shows the dc bias voltages applied to the channel uh, vds provides gate to source voltage and supplies current from drain to source vgs it sets the reverse bias voltage between the gate and source reverse bias voltage between the gate and source as shown in the figure jfet is always operated with gate source pn junction reverse bias as i said the gate source pn junction is reverse biased the reverse bias uh, it produces a depletion region along the pn junction which extends into the channel and increases its resistance by restricting the channel width because of the depletion region the channel width decreases and thereby resistance will increase the channel width and thus the channel resistance can be controlled by varying the gate voltage thereby controlling the amount of drain current id the depletion region is wider towards the drain end of the channel because the reverse bias voltage between the gate and the drain is greater than that between the gate and the source so as i explained the depletion region is wider here and it is narrow at the source end Okay, so that's about the construction and operation of an n-channel jfet. The main thing you have to remember is uh, there is a channel which is of n type, and there is a current flowing through it that is ID because of this VDS. But this is controlled by another voltage that is VGS that is applied across the gate and source, which is negative in case of an n-channel jfet. Because of this, there is a reverse bias junction, which you know causes the depletion region, thereby changing the resistance of the channel. And uh, because of this, the current is controlled. Uh, due to vgs okay now coming to p channel jfet here also it is similar but the channel is of p type if the channel is of p type you know it's the poles that are flowing from the source to the drain so the direction of the current is sorry the direction of the current 
is from source to drain okay direction is from, of the current is from source to source to drain so this is the direction of the current id so in the p channel there are two n type regions diffused and both of them are actually connected to the gate both of them are connected to the gate but we will show only uh, one of them okay for simplicity we are going to show only one end connected to the gate so there is actually a path uh, from uh, a connection from both the terminals so this is the drain current id so for simplicity we will be showing only one so yeah the gate is of n type right so we uh, this is a symbol of a p channel jfet where the direction of the current is outside shown outside so drain current is also outside so what you have to know again is jfet is always operated with its pn junction reverse biased for this junction to be reverse biased you know this uh, gate has to be connected to positive because this is n it has to be connected to positive and this is p it has to be connected to negative for this junction to be reverse biased okay it shows a basic structure wireless are connected to each end of the p channel drain is at the upper end source is at the lower end two n type regions are diffused in the p type channel okay uh, both type uh, both n type regions are connected to the gate but for simplicity we'll show only one end connected to the gate coming to the operation of it uh, this you know this instead of the structure that we have shown in an n channel we can also draw a symbol of a jfet here this is the symbol of a p channel jfet where the current is outside this is the gate this is the drain and this is the source okay the gate is of n type it has to be connected to positive source is of p type it has to be connected to negative for this to be reverse biased because of this reverse bias the resistance is increased and the current that is flowing you know current is this direction because this vds is negative here it is negative that means uh, this is connected to ground positive the direction is like this right so vds is negative so direction of the current is this way. So this is the operation of a p channel jfet the current is again limited by the vgs that is connected with the gate and source junction gate and source uh, terminals vds is vds provides gate to source voltage and supplies current from drain to source vgs sets the reverse bias voltage between the gate and the source jfet is always operated with gate source pn junction reverse biased right uh, reverse biasing it produces a depletion region along the pn junction which extends into the p channel thus thereby increasing the uh, resistance by restricting the channel the channel width and thus the channel resistance it can be controlled by varying the gate voltage thereby controlling the amount of drain current okay if the channel width increases the resistance will increase or you can control it by using the gate voltage thereby you can control the gate drain current by using the gate voltage the depletion region as we have said it is wider towards the drain and narrower towards the source because the gate drain reverse bias is larger than gate source reverse bias okay this explains the characteristics sorry construction and operation of a p channel jfet okay so we have seen construction and operation of both n channel and p channel jfet in the next session we will see the characteristics and parameters of both n channel and p channel jfet